Hello, my name is Tine Tone and I'm studying bioinformatics at HOIST. Today I'm going to talk about the web tool Interprolscan. First I will talk about the publication I used to make this presentation. After that I will talk about Interpro database and entries which are used by the Interprolscan to search the query sequence against. After that I will show you how to use the web tool by uh, trying to solve my research question and talk about the results. Then we will discuss why Interprostcan is used and some alternatives. In the publication I chose, they described the Interprostcan software. It's extensively used both by genome sequencing projects and the Uniprot knowledge base to obtain a first pass profile of the potential function of protein sequences. The publication mainly describes the architecture and the job management of the new version of Interprolscan. This will not be discussed during this presentation. It also describes the databases and the algorithms that are used to search your query sequence. Interprolscan is a software package that allows sequences to be scanned against the Interpros database. The Interpros database is a resource that provides functional analysis of protein sequences by classifying them into families and predicting the presence of domains and important sites. To classify proteins in this way, Interpro uses predictive models known as signatures provided by several different databases that make up the Interpro consortium. The Interpro consortium contains multiple databases, as you can see in the illustration. And all of the member databases use different methods to construct their signatures, like hidden Markov models, possums, patterns. And they have their own particular focus of interest, like structural and functional domains, protein families or protein features, such as active sites or binding sites. Interpros can search a query against the multiple signatures and uses a variety of algorithms to do this, like BLAST or HAMMER. So for example, the FEM database has hidden Markov model models as signatures. So the HAMMER algorithm is used to search your query sequence against multiple FEM hidden Markov models. A model specific cutoff is applied and as a result, you get a HAMMER output file. This output file is filtered. First, if the sequence matches two FAM hidden Markov models belonging to the same clan, you can pick the one with the best score. And if the sequence matches two FAM hidden Markov models, which you know that one of the two is nested in the other one, you can allow this overlap. Then you get the Interpro scan output file or the results for your query sequence. The signatures from the databases are linked to Interpro entry pages. So each individual Interpro entry consists of one or more database signatures that are characteristic of the same protein family, domain or sequence feature. The entry is given a name and a unique Interpro identifier. It is also annotated with additional information, information as you can see in the illustration like overlapping homologous superfamilies, family relationships, a description, and gene ontology terms, which can be found in different sections on the entry page. On the right side of the page, you can find the signatures that were used to create the page. At the top, you will find the type of entry page, and there are five types. We have the F for protein family, the H for homologous superfamily, D for domain, R for repeat, and S for site. The results of the Interprostcan will be linked to these inter entry pages, so you can always get some extra information when needed. So now I will show you how to use the Interprostcan web tool by trying to solve my research question. And my research question is, I have a new protein sequence and I don't know anything about it. To which family does this protein belong? Are there important domains and sites? And what is the function of my protein? We can do this by going to the Interprostcan webpage. So this is the Interprostcan webpage. As you can see, I have pasted my sequence here in FASTA format. Um, the maximum length of your sequence is 40,000 amino acids long. Um, then after we've done that, we can click the submit button. So now your the Interprostcan will 
attempt to assign the sequence to a protein family and identify any domains, repeats, and sites. So then we get this page, page that your job is currently running and we have to wait a few moments or seconds or minutes for our results. Once the analysis is complete, a results page will be returned showing the interpro matches to your query sequence in graphical form. Next, we will look at interpreting these results to understand what they mean. On top, you can find the name and the length of your sequence. And as first information, the page shows to which family your protein belongs. You can click the family names and that will bring you to the entry page of this family where detailed information about the family can be found, like a description and some gene ontology terms. Then back to this page, you can see uh, to which ho homologous superfamily your sequence belongs and what important domains and repeats that were predicted by the Interpro scan. Your sequence is displayed as a gray bar with its length in amino acids on the bottom and the results are displayed as a colored bar. If you hover over them, you can find the position of the, in this case, the superfamily on the sequence and the name of the superfamily. And for my case, this is Calicin. Then you can see the domains and the repeats. It's the same. If you hover over the colored bar, you can find the position and the name of the domain. In my case, this is lipocalin. Then after that, you can see the detailed signature matches. They show the raw match position of all the different signatures in Interpro to the sequence, including signatures representing families, domains, repeats and sites, and unintegrated signatures that are not associated with Interpro entries. So here you can always see the the H, the F, the D and the S for the different types of entry pages. So these ones are also linked. You can always click them for some extra information. Then you can find some other features also linked to entry pages for some extra information. And at last you can find the GO term prediction of the Interpro scan. Um, so these assign a function to your sequence. Also at the detailed signature matches, you can see from which database the matches come. So if you hover over, over them here, you can see the match comes for the PIRSF database. Here for the super family database, the gene 3D family base. So that's always also nice to know. Now we can go back to the PowerPoint. And this is a summary of the results I got. So my sequence belong, belongs to the calicin homologous superfamily. It has a lipocalin domain and a lipocalin site. And its molecular function is retinoid binding and retinal transmembrane transporter activity. So why do we use Interproscan? Um, protein signature databases have become vital tools, tools for classification of protein sequences in order to infer their function. Um, Interproscan is a really uh, good tool because it reduces redundancy and simplifies protein sequence analysis by integrating signatures from different member databases that represent the same protein family, domain or site. It also unites the member database, capitalizing on their individual strengths to produce a powerful classification tool. It also provides a single convenient searchable location, allowing simultaneous querying of all the member databases. databases. And at last, it also adds information like gene ontology terms to the signatures, which may be used to annotate the proteins they match. There are also some alternatives for the Interproscan web tool. One of them is Blast2Go, but this one has no web tool, so we have to download it on your Linux. Um, Blast2Go is an all-in-one bioinformatics solution for functional annotation of new, new sequences. Its main function is to assign information about the biological function of gene or protein sequences by making use of diverse public resources like comparison algorithms and databases. 
The software identifies already characterized similar sequences and transfer its functional labels to the uncharacterized sequences or the sequence that you have submitted. Sifter is also uh, an alternative and can be used to predict protein function. When you submit your query sequence, you get gene ontology terms as a result. Now we're at the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching. I hope everything was clear.